Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill, and we're here with Sundarius Shepard. We just completed the lair of the Shadow Broker, and before that, Project Overlord. So that's two DLCs in a row, and now it is time to begin the final parts of uh, the main story. But let's go up to our captain's cabin for just a moment. Because we've been away for a while. And I want to check on my fish. Oh my goodness, they're alive! They are still alive! Let me feed them. Alright. I really thought I was going to come in here and they were going to be dead. And I was going to be terribly upset. Okay, we're good. Let's go. So it doesn't look like we have the right options chosen initially with Kelly to get her to feed the fish, but I'll talk to her another no time. No messages for you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Let's ask how is the crew. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, okay, we cannot make any headway with her, so let's see what whoops, whoops, unread messages. Pragia facility update from Cerberus Intel. Commander Shepard contacting you per elusive man's instructions. He believed you would want to know that he had ordered Project Sub Okay, we'll try this again. He had ordered Subject Zero's project. Shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus personnel arrived to find all guards dead, along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, given mild amnesiac treatments, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pragia has been destroyed. All right, update on the kid. Oh, from Captain Bailey. Hey Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally and he's doing some work for me. Helping me deal with some trash in the wards, maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if you're Drell, and mine are talking, okay. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there, Bailey. Dr. Archer's brother from the Elusive Man. Shepard, I understand that you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll likely never find another individual with David's unique talents. Though your decision is understandable, it, is, it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. Yeah, so that's why they attacked Grissom Academy in Mass Effect 3. Because the elusive man is salty. All right. Um, I think we can continue. We should be in orbit, yes, around Hagalaz, the Shadow Broker base. is our exit to the mass relay. Here we go. Such beautiful music. 
that's the thing about Andromeda. They, they couldn't even have kept this music. I mean, come on. This is a classic, and they, they just wanted to distance themselves, I guess, a month as far away from a quality project as they possibly could. All right, so where can we go from here? Huh, we do have some side missions now. I think we need to go to the Pylos Nebula to save this crashing ship. Let's go. Alright, we've arrived in the Narif system. Alright, I will spare the scanning of the planets. We'll do that afterwards. But let's go ahead and see what's going on here with the MSV Broken Arrow. Anomaly detected. Scans detect a rapidly decaying derelict ship in orbit over planet Jonas. Registration matches the MSV Broken Arrow. Ship's manifest notes volatile munitions cargo on board. If left undisturbed, the ship's trajectory will lead to impact with Jonas. High probability that the crash site will be far, far gone. Jonas' largest human colony. Geth signatures detected aboard the MSV Broken Arrow. Okay, let's board. And as I've said, you know, no matter what they say about Shepard, you know, he is a good man at heart. He might do some things ruthlessly. He may kill people. Discriminately, I'm going to add. Not indiscriminately, but discriminately but he's a good man. All right, who on earth are we gonna bring with us now? Um, let's bring Morden and Tally. Okay. Guess I'm waiting for another level up here, so we will on. Um, I'm not sure if I really want Neural Shock. What does this do? Does this, um... Alright, we'll just go with this. More health. Um, hold on. Oh, well. Collision with the planet's surface is imminent. I am transmitting a countdown to advise you of the time remaining until impact. Hit the wrong button. I wanted to check on Tally's uh, points. All right. Do we have a countdown? We do. We got to keep moving. Yellow alert. I'm moving the ship to yellow alert while we've seen no signs of trouble. I'm not so sure we won't run into Geth this far out. We've been prepared for anything. I've been told it's a terrible idea to go this far out toward Geth territory, but these colonies need to defend themselves. Sometimes I think the only thing keeping the crew from shriveling up in fear is the 100 crates of military-grade weaponry on board. A little shore leave when I when we get to the oh goodness Nifiraf system. I botch that. Will do us all some good. We have a lot of deliveries to make, and I'm not going to let any. And it's not going to get any friendlier out there. All right, that's our yellow alert. Red alert, moving the ship to red alert. The Geth are attacking. We're ill-equipped for an attack of this magnitude, but we'll do everything we can to survive this. These colonies need these weapons, and this attack is further proof of how dire the situation is out here. Now, I just want to make a comment here. They put all these little tablets here to read, and we're on a countdown timer. Fortunately, I do believe that this pauses the timer while we're reading this, but this is just not really a good choice when this is supposed to be like a critical situation, yet you give me all this stuff to read. All right, signing off. This will be the last entry in this log. Given the severity of the Geth attack, I have ordered all hands to evacuate and head toward the colony. Should the Geth succeed in capturing this ship, they also gain control of the 100 crates of weapons in the cargo hold. 
Therefore, I am using my authorization codes to scuttle the ship, hopefully destroying the Geth that remain aboard. I intend to stay aboard to make sure the ship dies gracefully. My plan is to disable the ship's engines, thus causing our orbit to decay. This will bring the MSV Broken Arrow down to the surface where the self-destruct timer will destroy the ship. I must be careful if I fail. There's no telling where this ship will end up. All right, here we go. All right, which way, people, which way? Ah, a puzzle. got here. How about Cryoblast? Uh, take control of that one. Enjoy. Another Cryoblast, Morty? Thank you. Eat this. Energy drain. Singularity out. War out. All right, let's go. We don't have much time. All right, navigation status offline. Systems damage, hull breach detected. Local atmosphere venting into space. To restore power, engage the power couplings. Warning, atmospheric entry detected. Impact with planetary surface imminent. Okay, let's keep moving. Cryoblast. Use your drone. Oh, Barrier up. Kill that one. Got one of them. Um, how do I get over here to the other side? Couplings have not been re-engaged. What the heck does that mean? It probably means we're gonna fail this mission. Next. Ah, here. Coupling two. Energy drain. Barriers up. Barriers 
back up. Nobody's got any powers available, huh? We have a puzzle. Stabilize the MSV Broken Arrow. Remaining Geth have disengaged. The colony is safe. All right, we got 125 experience. We got 7,500 credits. And let's get back to the Normandy. I think we might have missed a few things while we were racing to stabilize the, that ship. But, um... Hopefully not too much. Probably credits. I, I did see some like data pads and stuff off in the distance that I didn't pick up. All right. I think I remember. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right. Thank you, Kelly. I think I remember from the Shadow Broker we picked up a enhancement. Yes, pistol damage. Let's go ahead and apply this. And I think that's it, unless we want any of these prototypes or retrain our powers, which I don't want to do. All right, let's see what we've got here. To the Normandy, our thanks. From Raphael. Okay. It looks like Cologne, but I'm sure it's that's not how it's pronounced. It's probably Raphael Cologne. How you get Cologne out of Cologne, I do not know. But he's the governor of Far Gone Colony, Jonas. Normandy crew, we retrieved your identity from the docking data aboard the MSV Broken Arrow. We're led to believe that your crew is responsible for saving our colony from a catastrophic event. Not only did you defeat the Geth and present, pre prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in a trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, but you also saved nearly 100 munitions crates that could have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thanks to you, we are safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the, of the residents of Far Gone Colony, you have our eternal gratitude. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And, uh, again, we're working toward the... the in missions here. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, but this is Hill! And I'm out.